Hello, what's up YouTube? Ronnie Sweet and I'm sure and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how you can steal or copy skin texture from one image to another. So depending on the image that you have taken, sometimes we tend to lose out on those nice and natural skin details and we have to do it in Photoshop. So this tutorial is for you guys that would love to copy or steal skin textures from one image and put it to your images. For example, your beauty or closer portrait so in this tutorial that's what we're going to be covering so let me just give you a moment to hit the like button on this video because most of you people tend to watch and you enjoy and you tend not to you forget to hit the like button so hit the like button and we shall proceed let me just hope you're done so this is the image that we're going to be stealing textures from i feel like i loved the details or the textures on this image then i feel like i want to copy them and I put them onto this particular image. So in order to do that, I'm just going to come to our reference image. So this is going to be like our reference image from which you are going to be stealing details or textures from. So when you come to your reference image, first of all, come and create a copy out of it by hitting Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the background. Or you can just drag it and create a copy. So this is a copy. So you're just going to name that layer texture just like that. So after naming that layer texture, what we're going to do, we're just going to come to filter and we come down here to other and we're just going to use the high pass filter. So when you come to the high pass filter, we have to move this radius up to a point where you feel like the details you want from that image are really going to be exposed well enough to your liking. So just come to the radius and start dragging it just like that. So just move it. So I think at around, let's go with around 8. I think at around 8 I have the best details out of the skin. I hope you can see right here on this little window right here. So after doing that, it means that it is this texture that we are going to steal from this image and we paste it to the image that we want to embed those textures into so just come and hit ok and after doing that we are going to copy or drag this texture layer onto our image which we want to apply the textures onto so just come and left click and simply drag it onto the image that we want to work on so just drag and drop right there so as you can see, the thing you have to notice before you do this, let me just undo this. You have to make sure that the images that you want to, are your reference image and the image that you want to paste those textures onto after stealing them or copying them, are simply a little bit identical. Because when you get an image when someone is facing on the side, it means that the reference image or the image from which you want to copy those textures from, also has to be slightly facing into the same direction that's why you can see on my reference image uh, the model is facing straight into the camera and on the image where i want to paste the textures from i have the model facing straight into the camera so this is going to work best for me i'm just going to come back and i simply drag the textures onto this image and paste them so we just want to align this image to match the background image. And in order to align it, you're going to simply come and hit, just get this tool right here. And I don't know, it is the move tool. And after doing that, just click on this layer and hit Ctrl T or Command T on the keyboard. And it's going to bring out these transform options so that you can move the image and drag it to align with the image in the background so just come and slightly reduce on the opacity so that you can see everything so we just want to align the eyes to match our image in the background so in order to do that just move this up to when you feel like the eyes are aligning or maybe the eyes and lips and just move this a little bit up and you're just going to move this towards the side up to a point when uh, the eyes are trying to align or the nose of the model. So I'm just going to move this even more. 
just like that so i feel like the eyes are now in line or a little bit aligning so i'm just going to move this slightly up and drag this down so you can see that the eyes and lips are aligning i hope you can see this they are aligning and i'm just going to move this a little bit more just slightly so that i don't paint in the hair from our a reference image or the image from which you are trying to copy the details from so I'm just going to move that just like that and try rotating it slightly so that it can somehow align with my background image so you have to be careful with this step I'm just going to use command minus and try aligning it even more so that I get the hair out of the way if at all I am to increase on the details so you can see that now the skin and the lips are somehow trying to align with the background image so the textures we are copying are now aligning with the image on which we want to paste them and when you feel like you're done doing that just come back to the opacity and you can increase on it so I'm just going to hit enter on the keyboard to paste my image and increase on the opacity to 100% so the image has now been aligned onto our subject or the image on which we want to paste our textures or skin details so after doing that what we are going to do next is painting in the, the, the details or the skin texture onto our image that we are working on or our final product so in order to do that just come and select the texture layer make sure it is selected and hold down the alternate key on the keyboard or out alt is the spelling so when you hold it down and you click on this layer mask icon you can see that it creates a black layer mask and in photoshop black hides and white reviews so we just want to reveal what has been hidden behind this black mask it means that our textures have been hidden behind this black mask right here so we want to get a white brush that is going to be revealing the details or the textures that have been hidden behind this texture black mask and in order to do that just come to these color swatches you can see that I have black and white right here so when you toggle or use X on the keyboard you can switch between black and white or if at all you have different colors right here you can just click on these small color swatches or boxes to get black and white and get black on top or white you can use x on the keyboard or you can use these arrows right here so when i have white on top i'm just going to come and get a soft round brush so come under the brushes and get a soft round brush so i'm just going to come the settings hardness i'm just going to leave it at zero so meaning my brush is a soft round brush opacity and the flow i'm just going to be using 100 percent smoothing if at all you have this option make sure it is at zero percent and hit enter so we, have, we are done setting up the brush and it is time to start painting in the details in the skin area so you can increase on the size of the brush by using the box brackets on the keyboard and simply left click and before you start painting in you can set it is not displaying our details quite well just come and change the blending mode or the blend mode to just look for overlay just right here and just come and start painting in so don't mind if at all this is displaying the eyebrows from our reference image just come and only paint over the skin area just like that and you can see that it is really getting to apply that nice uh, detail so just paint over only uh, the skin area and don't paint over what you feel is not important like the eyes and maybe lips you only want to apply the detail onto the skin area and not as the lips or other areas of uh, the model's face so just come and paint over only uh, the skin area so i know it looks a little bit weird just come and paint over the skin just like that so we just want to eliminate uh, the effect from uh, the other areas or those artifacts that it is creating onto the model's face and in order to do that we're just going to erase 
are these from the model's face and in order to erase them we are going to simply come to add the brush and reduce on the floor slightly just going to go around the floor of 40 percent and change this to black meaning it is going to be erasing the effect from uh, the model's skin just come and start painting just like that to eliminate or erase the effect from uh, our model's face or model skin just like that so you have to be really nice and careful so that no one can notice that uh, you did something or you did errors onto the image or you can even come on the nose area and eliminate or paint away the effect from our reference image just like that and eliminate it right here so I think I, it created something on the eyebrows so I'm just going to come and paint it out just like that and paint it from uh, the eye area too because I don't want it to affect the eyes of our subject in this case so I hope you can see that this is really creating that nice uh, detail in the skin area of uh, the model right now. So just come right above the lip and you can now eliminate the textures from there too. And on the lip area in general, if at all you have painted like right there. So command minus to zoom out. So we want to see what we have done as we are painting through. Or if at all you have successfully copied texture from the reference image onto the image that we want to work on. So this was the image before and after, before, after. Let me try to zoom in for you. So this is the before, after, before, after. I hope you can see this because I know YouTube may compress this uh, video and you may not be seeing everything in real time, but I hope you can see a slight difference in as the image right now between the before and after so basically this is how to copy a skin texture from one image to another and if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating